fixing headlines, violently sexist. Ah, it's just insane. Like, oh. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This week is my first time ever doing a stand-up video, so that's exciting. So let me know what you think of it, that exciting development. This week is super interesting. So basically it's all about, in simple terms, fixing headlines that are violently sexist, misogynistic, perpetuating rape myths, etc, etc. And basically why I'm doing this is because lots of backstory here, but it's all relevant and it's all good education. Basically every year the UN runs a campaign and it's called 16 Days of Activism Against Gender-Based Violence. And it runs from the 25th of November, which is the day for the elimination of violence against women, up to the 10th of December, which is Human Rights Day. So it's all very exciting. And basically, Fixed It Ireland, which I'll put their links down below to their Twitter and Instagram, are basically doing a campaign. That, like, like So many women's rights organisations get involved and it's great. But their particular campaign is basically every day for these 16 days, they're shining a light on headlines that are just like, oh my God, like insane. And I just think it's fascinating. So I want to talk about it today. So I'm basically going to be going through like, bad examples of headlines that just like are just so bad and I'll talk about like reasons why they're so bad and each thing. So yeah, we're gonna do like bad examples, some good examples, then we're gonna talk about like why this happens, like why do we think people do like really bad, sexist, misogynistic headlines that are just so wrong and bad, ah? And obviously then like why it's important to use the correct words and language and all that jazz and then at the end what we can do about it or like how we can help and all that jazz. So I'm like let's get started and it's like two and a half minutes in like so embarrassing but let's get started. Okay, so I have all the examples here, so I'll just be kind of looking, looking down here. So the first one, and these are all headlines, and I'll show them on the screen as well as I'm talking about them. First headline is, man found guilty of murdering girlfriend during drinking session. And it's like, this is just so important because like, on the surface, you might not think that that is that wrong or that bad, but like, oh my god, like, and it's, like, basically, I'll, I'll be like a broken record now for this whole video because like, they're all just really, really simple things. Like none of, none of the things people are saying are like that outrageous, but it's just like when you hear them over and over again, it's just these simple phrases that like get into your head and make you think certain things about certain people and it's just so dangerous. So what's wrong with this one? Man found guilty of murdering girlfriend during drinking session. Basically with that one, it's just like the drinking session, like why is that relevant? You know what I mean? It's just like, you don't need to put that in. Like a man murdered someone. Like you don't like, and it's like the effect that has is it somehow, and it kind of muddies the waters. It implies that, okay, oh, he, he just did it because he was drunk. Like, we, you know, we've, we've all been there. Like, no, actually, a lot of people don't go around murdering people when they're drunk, you know, and it just muddies the waters and it just kind of implies something or it implies that it's, oh, it was just a, like a once off. Oh, like he, he just murdered her, one, you know, once off, you know, because they were drinking, but like he probably has been beating her and domestically abusing her for the past couple of years, but oh, like it's just, once off drinking session, bad luck. Yeah. And it's just like, it's just, it's a, it's just not relevant. And like by including it, it makes us think that it's relevant. And it, like, oh, they've obviously included that for a reason. So we should maybe pay attention to it. Okay, maybe he was just drunk and it was just like, no, like, no, it's just irrelevant. So that's like just like first example of like what this campaign is all about. It's all about basically fixing headlines that just are just so wrong and just making them right, basically. Next one is really interesting. Devoted family man avoids jail for downloading child porn. Okay, like this is just so wrong on so many levels. Devoted family man? Why Why is that in there? Like, why is that in there? And that's basically put in there to like make us feel sorry for this person. Like, oh my God, like no, that, it's just not relevant. You don't need to put that in. Just bye bye, like get rid of it. Like man, just say man, it's just man. And then also majorly child porn. Oh my God, it is not child porn. Like children do not do porn. Like, oh my God, they cannot consent to do porn. Like, no, no. So just call it, it's child sexual abuse, that's what it is. It's images of child sexual abuse. Child sexual abuse images. Like it's just, it's very, very easy. And again, using words like child porn, particularly, you know, obviously it's, it's both, you know, boys and girls, but like particularly with like girls, you know, if they're maybe like, you know, 10, 11, 12, like kind of prepubescent, it's like using the word porn, Again, it takes away this child aspect from it, this lack of consent and implies, it, it again, it muddies the waters, makes you think, oh, okay, porn, okay, sexy, grown up, like adult, like consent, no. Like, no, these are children under 18. Porn is not, no, it's, it's sexual abuse imagery. It's, oh, so yeah, so many things wrong with that headline. Next one, taxi man with a good heart sexually abused past a passenger. Like literally, I have my notes like made for this. 
<laughs> and next to all I have written for that one is just what? Like question mark, question mark, three exclamation marks because it's just so insane. Taxi man with a good heart. And again, it's just like, why Why is that relevant? Why do you need to include that? And again, the, the purpose of it is to make us somehow feel sympathy for this guy who sexually assaulted and sexually abused a woman who was passed out in his taxi. Like, it's just, it's so wrong. And like, the situation itself, like, he's the driver, you know, she's passed out maybe after a drink, like, she's vulnerable. He, you know, it's just, it's like, we're, we're trying to make it maybe, we're trying to like, kind of, maybe like, flip the scale Instead of feeling sympathy for her, the victim, the like the serious victim in this in this instance, I'm trying to flip it towards him, like, oh he oh he's a good heart, like didn't mean it. Like, what? Text him with a good heart. So again, we just need to get rid of that. Because that's just not I mean, it's just insane. Like who who thought to write that? Next one. Thousand sign petition calling for criminalization of revenge porn. So this one again revenge porn there's just so much wrong with this and this has been really in the headlines lately which is like this is actually from like just the the drama that's happened in the well not drama that's actually that's a, an example of a wrong word to use just the absolute just insanity is probably a better word um that's happened in the last few weeks in ireland but yeah revenge porn so much wrong with this term it's image-based sexual abuse like it is abuse like you have shared your pi you may or may not like say if you have shared your pictures with someone there was consent, it was between you and them. And they've now shared with other people. You didn't consent for it to be shared with all of them. And using the word revenge porn implies that the person is taking out revenge against you, i.e. like you did something to them. And it's like, no, 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 you didn't actually do anything to them. So implying, like saying revenge porn implies that, there, first of all, that there's a, a legitimate reason for them sharing your pictures without your consent and that you did something. Like even if you did something, it's still not okay to share nude pictures of you that you're like, do you know what I mean? So it's like just the word revenge porn is just so, so wrong. And also again, just like, like the revenge part is bad, but even the porn part is bad. Like you were maybe just sharing a picture with your like boyfriend or something. Like it's not, you were not intending it to be porn. It's to be like reproduced or sold or watched by like thousands or millions of people. That is not the intent of what it was meant to be. So again, Using these words just implies so much stuff that was never there. It's just so wrong. So yeah, revenge porn should be image-based sexual abuse, FYI. Similar to that, the next one. The lowest of the low, Irish women among 140,000 revenge porn image images leaked online. So again, revenge porn, obviously so, so bad. But what is interesting about this one is like, what about the perpetrators of this? Like it's, it's saying like, it's like passively, it's like, oh, Irish women were, you know, were in these images and it's like, Oh, like leaked online. But it's like, who shared them? Who sh who shared them? Like, why is there nothing about who? Like, it's it's like, oh, just these these images just happen to be leaked. Oh, oops. Like, no, who who did this? Who shared this? Like, why are they not mentioned? Like, it's insane. And again, like I'll talk about it more. It's just this passive language. Like, oh, Irish women just happen to be involved in in this thing because they're you know a bunch of sluts. Like, oh, that's just what women do. Like, they deserve. Like, no, who who did this? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, it's, it's just insane. They're just completely not even in that headline. It's just, oh my God. The next one is so bad. And like, this this is actually, this caused us, like, thankfully, caused a huge uproar at the time. So this one is, vulnerable girl, 15 in brackets, had sex with men in hotels for drugs and alcohol. Like, oh my God, so much wrong with this. Like, we're, honestly, where do I even begin? So like, like, there's actually so much in this one headline that I actually just want to like, read it the entire time. So like, okay, first of all, okay, she's, this girl is 15 right? She's 15. And so it's saying, had sex. Mm, no, last time I checked, age of consent was 17. So if you're under that, you can't get consent, therefore you can't have sex, therefore it's rape. So like, why not, why not use those words? Like what, like, had sex? No. But like, what's even, it's almost like they contradict themselves because it's like, you're saying she's vulnerable, you're saying she's 15, and you're saying that she did it for drugs and alcohol. So like, obviously anyone who's, anyone, for, you're, you're calling her vulnerable, so she's vulnerable, Anyone who who would need to, you know, m do something like that or be involved in that kind of situation for drugs and alcohol is clearly not in an okay situation. So clear, like clearly is vulnerable, and you've said it. So like, it would actually be more plausible that she was that she was raped for those things because she's in such a vulnerable position. So again, like, why use words like had sex with? So it, to me, it's almost like they're like contradicting themselves. I just find it bizarre, like. Yeah, it's just, it's just so insane. And just like, again, so irrelevant. Like what, why is the for drugs and alcohol part relevant there? Like why? Like 
what I know is that there was a hotel room, a girl who was 15 and older men. Like, like any other detail there is not relevant because the situation is in and of itself not okay. Like, they raped her. She was 15. That's all we need to know. Like, the drugs and alcohol. And again, it's implying that she's, you know, you know, sleazy, she's, you know, alcoholic, drug addict, like, deserved this. It's just, it's, again, it's muddying the waters. It's just so dodgy. Next one is, Corkman sobs as he's been guilty of raping teen as she slept. Oh my god, Corkman sobs. Why are you including that he's crying? Like, I'm sure he's crying. He, he raped someone and he's getting caught. Like, thank god. But like, why, why are you including that? Like, it's like, it's like, first of all, it's like, why are you including that? It's not relevant. But why are you not including the feelings of the person who was raped. Like, I would be much more interested in hearing about her crying and, and everyone knowing how distraught she is because of something horrific that happened to her. Yet, all we're hearing about is the man crying, the perpetrator, the guy who raped her. Like, again, like, what? It's just insane. And again, just, like, all these things are just so small but just have such, like, the, the, the effect of headlines like this over and over again in just framing how we think and making us think that we should feel sorry for him? Like, no, my God. Next one then, young woman raped in Dublin while on her way to her father's funeral. And this one again is just so interesting when we're talking about like passive the active language. Young woman raped. Oh, she was just, she was just raped. She was just raped, like you're walking down the street. She just happened to be raped. No, who, who did the raping? Who, 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 like who did it? Like, it it's just insane. Like, why are we not talking about we're talking about all the women who've been raped, but why are we not talking about all the men who are raping women or all the people who are raping these women? Like, what? It, like, and it makes sense. Like, if, if people have been raped, then someone obviously did the raping. But why are we never talking about those people, those men? Why? Like, why? It's insane. And again, just makes it, just make it seem like we're not talking about the perpetrators, therefore we're not tackling the problem. We're just saying, oh, women have been raped. Like, wh wh where do we go from that? Like, where, I'm I'm actually, I'm so ranty in this video, but I'm just like, what do we do? Like, what like what happens? Like, where do we go from there? Like, nothing. Whereas if we say, okay, man rapes woman, okay, they're, they're male, they're, they're in like the problem. That man is a rapist. Let's do something with him instead of doing something with her. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just insane. And also, again, just the inclusion of the words while on the way to her father's funeral, it's just so, and again, it's just like, it's adding in just like emotion, just for the sake of adding in emotion. Like, what does that have to do with anything? Like, what? No. What we know here is that a man raped a woman. That's the, that's, that's the headline. And then the last one isn't an actual example of something, but I saw it on the Fixed in Ireland's uh, Instagram page and I thought it was interesting. Just the words isolated incident. And it's funny. And I feel like you'll see that now everywhere when you're looking at headlines. And it's just like, it's often said in a lot of headlines or, you know, articles or whatever like oh it was just an isolated incident just happened once and it's really really interesting because like if someone like say kills someone like you could be guaranteed that's not an isolated incident you can be guaranteed that he's probably abusing her the entire time or it's just like oh it's just like oh that man is just a danger to that woman like that's an isolated incident like he's not gonna murder or rape like all women and like that's really interesting like one Mm, I mean, I would beg to differ that it's not true, but like, let's say for example that, it, that it's true. Let's say for example that he, you know, he only has interest in murdering that one woman. What a nice guy. We're not taking account of the fact that like, there are so many men who are only interested in murdering one woman. Like, it's not just this one man and that one woman. It is an entire systemic societal problem. So again, calling it something like isolated incident, it's just, it's not isolated. Like, this, like, none of these things are isolated within our society. This is a whole society that, kill, like, murders women, rapes women, abuses women, and gets away with it and, and thinks it's totally fine. So nothing's isolated. So I wanted to put that in because I just think it's really interesting. And pay attention to them when you see it, like, now, from now on. Quickly, just wanted to give some examples of just, like, two good examples of, like, headlines. So one is, just, like, reports of online child abuse images hit record high. So again, says what it is. It's images of child abuse, not child porn. Great, so that's what it is. Next one then, Gardaí commences inquiries into image-based sexual assault incident. Again, just says what it is. No sensationalism, no drama, no irrelevant words. Just says what happened, just says it, it's great. So then quickly, like, you know, why does this happen, I think? So just a, a few thoughts. I mean, one, you know, a very easy, one to say that, okay, it could all be male authors. But like, it's not just male, you know what I mean? Like we're all, 
something that was I, I heard recently was like the patriarchy that like you know the patriarchy is the ocean and we're all the swi- <laughs> we're all the fish swimming in it so it's like you know we could say oh it's just a few bad male authors but it's not I mean this is society like, this is like a social problem like we all have these views about victim blaming and women and you know promiscuity and like you know whether women should be blamed for everything that men do like this is not just male authors so but I mean but I mean it's definitely an issue so that could be one reason another huge one obviously is just like needing clicks the more sensationalist your headline is the more clicks you're gonna get like I mean it just you know people want attention so you know that could be one of the reasons why this is done but again it's just not good enough that, like that's not a good enough reason it shouldn't that shouldn't be done the business people's lives and this is side that you're influencing so like no and this isn't just like tabloid or anything this is like like reputable news like Irish Times or Irish Independent or Irish Examiner or whatever like this is not just tabloid so like this is a, a serious problem like all over like in every industry in like in every newspaper like this is not yeah it's just insane and again it's just like you know it's it's just it's like you know authors or you know journalists or reporters or whatever like they have their like, they all have their own biases and they're just bringing them into their headlines and like if you are a journalist and you believe that like you are going to want to cater to those people to you know, those people who believe the same things as you because they you want them to click into your stuff so you're going to make it what they want to read and it's just so problematic and just so bad so those are just a few reasons why i think this happens um but i mean it's just it's just so bad so there are probably loads more basically quickly importance of 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 reporting these things and of fixing this language it's just like language and again as i've kind of said throughout this video language is so so important like we don't even like we think like oh it says oh it's fine it's just a few words like words are so powerful words are everything words form our opinions and how we think about things and that, like again these headlines are all the time like the more you read the more it goes in the more your attitudes are formed and it's so so dodgy so it's just so important to like constantly call these out and be like no it's actually really wrong let's fix it this is what is better in place of that and also like, because like now it is obviously like many people don't even like click in to read the article like many people just see the headline and form their opinions on that and don't click in to see like context or to see like what actually happened like that's so dangerous so headlines are so so important and need to be factual and not sexist and not misogynistic and actually just re with relevant information it's just like so so important and i'm yeah, just so passionate about this and i love that like fix it ireland are a thing and that, that they're running this campaign and it's just fab so basically like what can you do what can we do like two simple things when you see a headline that's really dodgy and really bad like write to the newspaper that like that is doing it like write to them they might you know make a correction or take it down or you know just even you know that you've done something you just, like just just report it and like the more people that report it the more people learn the more chance it has of being taken down the reporter in question might see it the people higher up in the paper might see it like just just, just report and i even need to get better at doing this like just it's yeah it's just like it's all well and good to like oh like talk about it on social media but like actually write to the newspaper and like make sure they're hearing voices because again the more like emails and you know messages they get the more serious they'll take it so yeah report it and then yeah let's like put it on social media do that like you know report to the fix it ireland pages and they can put it on their social media and just draw attention to it and like just yeah just call it out where you see it because it's really just not okay at all and it's so bad and has so many repercussions and it's so dodgy and we need to just tackle sexism wherever we see it and then we'll all be happy someday so that is this week's video a lot in there but i hope you enjoyed it i'll leave you the links to the fix it ireland's campaign down below they're doing it's fabulous like such good information such like okay chef's kiss so we should all be watching and yeah thanks so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and give me a little thumbs up and comment and all that jazz and i will see you all in next week's video i hope you enjoyed thank you so much bye